Police find the man accused of attacking a woman on a busy roadway more than 2,000 miles away. You're watching 8 News Now at 11. I'm Sasha Loftus. And I'm Brian Loftus. Tonight, the woman telling 8 News Now that police have essentially uh, told her that a man was arrested in the state of Virginia. 8 News Now reporter James Schaefer spoke directly with the victim. A woman was driving down this road in Spring Valley when she was pulled out of her car and attacked. Now, two months later, she's saying that she is relieved that a suspect is behind bars. Oh, I'll be going to court every court date. Sarah Goolsby says this has been a long time coming. It's bigger than me. I, I hate that it happened to me, but it could have been way worse. And if we catch him and this is what brought him to justice, I am totally good with it. On June 9th, Metro Police say Goolsby was driving on Rainbow Road when a car pulled in front of her. She thought she maybe hit the vehicle, but as she was preparing to take out her ID, she was punched. Cell phone video from a witness captured the moment Goolsby struggled to get up after being struck. The assailant walking back to her, appearing to confront her once more before fleeing. His identity unknown until now. They caught him and they caught him 2,500 miles away in Newport News, Virginia. Goolsby says a Metro Police detective reached out to her and confirmed an arrest. The attacker identified as Jose Soriano. Now, with her physical wounds healed, she said she hopes to see justice served. I just want to thank Metro for doing their jobs. And, you know, people are bashing them and they did the best that they could and they got him. And the community helped and all the love that I have seen and heard and felt from the community is just amazing. Now, Soriano is expected to be sent back to Las Vegas where he will await his day in court. Reporting from Spring Valley, James Schaefer, 8 News Now. An arrest warrant for Metro Police confirming Soriano has been convicted previously on two felony counts. The warrant revealing that in this case, he will face charges on first degree kidnapping, battery, and failing to stop at the scene of an accident, among other charges.